Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So I woke up this morning, this word kept coming in, two words, divine intervention, divine intervention. And I got this loud um, sort of resounding, remind them of their higher selves. And I saw the globe and all the humans and their higher selves trying to communicate with the human aspect of them. So let me quickly share what, what came through. Right now, your higher self, which is an aspect of you, it's you, it's just a different aspect of you, designed to guide you through life, moving you into the highest potentials for you and the highest versions of you. So it's designed to pull you out of trauma, out of limiting beliefs, out of suffering and struggling, and it's designed to pull you into abundance, love, peace, joy, um, sovereignty. So what's happening right now is in your moments throughout your day, you are being presented with opportunities to do a few things. So everything that's happening in your life right now is divine. It is divine. It is perfect regardless of the opinions that we have around it. It hurts, it doesn't feel good, it's uncomfortable, it feels great, right? The more you can have a detached experience, so you're not attached to anything that's occurring, and you're not judging it, you will be able to move through what is occurring for you with more ease and grace. So here's what's happening. Your higher self is trying to get your attention. And your higher self is asking a couple things. One, can you trust me? Can you trust what is unraveling? Nothing is unraveling that is not for your highest good. Nothing. Number two, whatever is unraveling for you, whatever is occurring, whatever is appearing, and it could be only for five minutes and then it's gone, or it could be for three days or two months you've been experiencing it. Whatever is occurring, it's asking you to trust you deeper, meaning the you that is inside this body, the essence, the soul, the spirit, your resonance, your intuition, trusting you more than you trust the ego of you, the aspect of you called ego, deeply starting to trust what feels right or wrong to you. The third thing it's asking you is can you trust that what is appearing right now is going to bring you into the next highest version of you. It's the greatest opportunity that you're being given. And what we do is we judge everything. So if it's like a new person coming into your life, it's a job that you're leaving, if it's a relationship that you're leaving, if it's a friendship that's blowing up, if it's a new way of exercising or your exercise routine doesn't feel good anymore, if you're changing your diet, it can be anything. But we judge everything. This means it's good, this means it's bad. If it feels a certain way, that means it's a good thing, that means it's a positive thing, that means that I'm raising my frequency, that means that I'm evolving, all these beliefs. I'm following the herd, I'm not following the herd, I'm doing the right thing in people's eyes, I'm not doing the right thing in people's eyes. Again, judgment and attachment. The way you follow higher self, the way you flow through life, and the way you continue to move into the next highest version of you over and over and over again is that you detach from what is occurring and just allow it to occur, knowing that it's always for your highest good. It is divine intervention and not judge it. They go hand in hand. Don't judge it. So what's coming up for you? Your higher self is always communicating with you. Your higher self always has your hand and is saying, let me show you where I wanna, sh where I wanna bring you. Let me show you what is waiting for you the traumas that need to be released in order to get there, your higher self will show you how to feel them by bringing in experiences that will allow you to feel trauma. Triggers, individuals, experiences that trigger the trauma. The triggers don't feel good, but the triggers are asking you to look inside. Look inside. How are you feeling? Anger, rage, sadness, insecurity, doubt, lack, jealousy. What is it? Perfect. Go in. You see, we look at these things that we're feeling as bad. There's something wrong with me. And your higher self is saying, no, no. This is how you move into the next highest version of you. Listen to me. Trust me. I'm showing you these things leading you into trauma so that you can shift. 
The fourth thing, the last thing, is that everything is a choice. Every single thing is a choice. You get to choose how you want to be. You get to choose whether you want to follow your resonance and your knowingness or not. You get to choose whether you're going to continue to believe the limiting beliefs or not. You get to choose how you show up in your life every single day. So remember right now, in this exact now moment as you're listening to this, you are connected to your higher self, which is an aspect of you. And your higher self is doing its darndest, its best, to continue to pull you into highest or higher versions of you, bringing you more abundance and peace, bringing you more freedom, right? Bringing you more joy, more love, all of that. And it may look like losing friendships. It may look like family not talking to you. It may look like a job that was paying you all kinds of money that you no longer have. It may look like all these things, which is why it is imperative that one, you trust your higher self. You trust what's in front of you. You trust your intuition, your resonance, your knowingness, what is inside here. Trust you, trust you. Third, you remember that everything is moving you into the next highest version of you. And four, you start choosing. And remember more than anything, try your best to stop judging and attaching to what is happening. And instead, flip the script and say, this is showing up for me for my highest good. This is showing up for me because my higher self dropped it in and is moving me, wanting me to move into higher versions of me. Nothing is an accident. Nothing is haphazardly, randomly happening to you. Everything is divine. Everything is an intervention offering you an opportunity to become more of who you have always been, but you've just been programmed to be numb and disconnected from that version of you. I love you.